Let me give you a personal example what I'm going through right now with the fear barrier. Because lots of times with the fear barrier, what we want and we're influencing our subconscious mind and what's happening in our subjective world, it's slowly coming into our objective world. It's slowly coming into our 3D world. What we want is actually slowly happening, okay? Because you influence your subconscious mind. But the biggest thing here, we have to make decisions in our 3D world, our objective world, that align with, that go with what we want, that go with our intention that we set in our subjective mind. So for example here is, here's the fear barrier. Again, this is what we want on this side. But what, what, one of the things I want is I want to be able to uh, travel the world. I want to be able to live abroad. Like for example, I live in Thailand. So w one of the things that kind of hit the fear barrier is right now I'm going to go back and visit family. I'm going to be gone for a few months. And do I keep my place? That where I can keep all my stuff in it and stuff like that. I don't have to pack it up, find storage, or have my girlfriend take it. I, I can keep my place, re-sign the lease, keep everything here, go back for a few months in the States, visit my family, go to the wedding there, then come back to Thailand. Th th those are the things that will start aligning that your, your subconscious mind. I've influenced my subconscious mind. So things are working out. Things are slowly aligning to make this happen, to make what I want happen. But... There's a big but in this, but there's certain, it comes a point where there's a certain decisions that we have to make that we have to go along with it in our objective world. We can't get scared and get fear and kind of run backwards to our comfort zone. And that's basically what I'm talking about here is here's the fear barrier. Here's what I want on the other side. This is the promised land for Chad. <laughs> okay. What I really want is to have a place international, have a place abroad, to be able to treat my place where I can keep all my stuff and be able to travel more abroad, either go home, visit family, or either go to other countries and I keep all my stuff abroad rather than, than give it up my place and have to start all over again each time I come back. And you know it pushes you up to that fear barrier because now all of a sudden I get close to that fear barrier. Everything's happening. Everything's working out exactly how I want it. But the decision I have to make is, is really about money. Well, well, Chad, this Chad, I have to sign the lease. I have to sign a lease for another year for this place and keep this place. So just like I've been living in the States, if I go visit family, well, I'm going to be paying for this place while I'm not here. So, you know, you get cl clear up to this fear barrier, you know, you start getting nervous, you start getting anxiety, you might start getting nervous, anxiety about money. You might start second guessing yourself. Like, do, should I do it? Should I do it? But your subconscious mind is working it all out for you. It's giving you exactly what you want. But there's certain decisions we have to make. It's always going to come down to this. You, you're going to have to make uncomfortable decisions in your objective world, in your 3D world. And you have to remember this is when you start feeling uncomfortable, you're up to close to that fear barrier. What you really want is on the other side of fear. What we really want, what I really want is on the other side of fear. But you see, if I don't do it, I give up my place. I run backwards. Well, that, you know, everything's going to start kind of crumbling back to what I don't want. Okay. Then I'm going to do all the work again, but we're always going to come to this fear barrier. And what I really try to tell myself is every time I feel anxious, anxiety, worried, fear, doubting, you know, should I do it? Should I do it? Is what I want is on the other side of fear. I just wanted to share that with you because that's a real experience what I'm going through right now. And by the way, I did re-sign the lease. I re-signed the lease here for one year. So, you know, I kind of took that leap, that leap of faith to actually follow it and do it. And, um, you know, it's working out. But anyway, I've kind of rambled on more and more and more, uh, way longer than I wanted to. Uh, but anyway, blessings to you. I love you guys. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll see you in the next video.